as the rotisserie turns with Dre's Place Barbecue. We got a lot of X Factors in the house. We got Big Mike. We got Pat. We got Dre. As the rotisserie turns. Good morning, America. Welcome to the Columbus, Ohio State Fair. It's really big here. We on our last three days of this particular show, and it's been very, very interesting. It's been fun. I've had a great team. I've lost some people. America, I wish you could have saw some of the people that we had that we lost, America. It's been a journey. It's been exciting. It's been a great time. I've got a couple people that's here already, and we're starting to work this morning. Hello. And that's Miss Janice America. And we just want to say we got the guys back there working already. We got the barbecue cooking. It's going to be a great, great time today. Oh, boy, is it going to be a great time. So you're going to be in for something. So stay tuned with us, America, because we're coming at you. Check this out. It's hundred percent natural. I'm gonna start selling this stuff. Rub that in, and later on, I want you to let me know how it feels. I can take the paint away in sixty seconds, brother. Oh. I don't know. Put it's some on the there. Put some put on there. Put it on there. Now rub it in yeah, good. There's a guy in Rooster that was selling something like that. Yeah. What disposal? It uh. Go green. It's called Go Green Pain Relief. Wow. It works. I guarantee it 100%. <laughs> I'm telling you, I've been using it for three years. All right, I'm going to see. No, I'm not saying it'll take all your pain, pain away, but yeah. yeah. It will feel better. Go green pain relief. Yes, sir. And I'm these on bracelets the... and stuff. She's, uh, she's got a six-point system. Her back ain't hurt all day yesterday. Really? I swear. Yep. This guy out here selling this stuff? Yep, yep, yeah, yep. We met him in Kentucky three years ago. And when I found him this year, I ran to him. The Ohio State Fair. Boy, man, two miles long, about a mile wide. It can hold up to 100,000 people. Turkey legs, turkey legs. Get your turkey legs right here. Well, they come on average 38 to 40 pounds uh, in a case. And I get roughly 18 to 20. So they're two pounds. Two pounds of beef. Of course, before cooking weight. You can count a little bit, but start off close to the How much are they a piece? $10 a leg. Wow, well that's worth it, man. That's a nice looking... It's like a meal on a stick. <laughs> well, good luck selling today. Appreciate it. You have to try to stay as well. Lemonade. Is it 25 cents a glass? It used to be, but not anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Who's Maggie? Maggie is my daughter, her mother. Oh, okay. I thought yes. it might be her. No, she's got cheesecake, and she's in another uh, serving trailer where we have cheesecake on a stick, ice cream, bananas. So what size lemonade do you have? We you have got... $3 regular. For a dollar more, you get twice as much for $4. This is our $5 cup. We refill up for $3 each time you bring it back. Wow. Three, four, five. Well, I just got to ask you, are you ready to sell some lemonade? Yes. <laughs> All right. Well, good luck today. Thank you. It's going to be warm. You can eat the rest of the cooking drink. You'll get the best of it. Now the people that had the spot, prior to the people that was here that died, and unfortunately the guy died that had the spot that I had to get in. Somebody got to go. It's just like when a newborn baby comes along. A newborn baby comes along, somebody dies. So you take one away, you bring one back. That's the God, of, that's the God that we understand that makes that happen for us. And uh, so they were telling me about the first time that they had their trailers here. 
and it was two of them telling me the story the other night. And uh, now they've got five trailers here apiece, and uh, they just don't blow it up. And it was all because of this fair 30 years ago. 30 years ago they started here. Well, we all gotta start somewhere at some time doing something. And that's what the key to all this is. We've started, this is our third year here, and it's just growing every year. It's been growing and growing and growing. More and more people, and they keep coming back, and that's what we're excited about, when people come back. We get to see them smile like me. Yes. Well, the Dre's Place team is getting cranked up. Let's go inside the trailer and see what's going on. Welcome to Dre's. We appreciate you guys stopping by and saying hello this morning. Oh, you heard that? Yeah. Wow. The word is out, huh? That's right. There you go, your macaroni and cheese. So can I ask you who told you that? There's a guy that's uh, showing animals here. And I texted him, I said, you've been here all week, you know, what? Uh, what's the best place? And he said, Dre's. That's what's up, man. Go, that's right. what we like. All right, chopped pork with coleslaw up. Thank you. There you go, sir. Nine dollars, that's all. Yeah, let me get a can of Mountain Dew, too. Okay, it's gonna be in that cooler right there. Okay. And you guys can just go on to uh, Dre's place, you can go to YouTube. Yep. Pull this segment up right here, because you guys will be on our, on our page. All right. We'll have y'all on our reality TV show as the rotisserie returns. So we'll yeah. type in Dre's Place mm -hmm. Barbecue as the rotisserie returns, and you'll find you. You know, one of the big draws for Dre's Place is collard greens. Look at these collard greens. Uh, right here, we put them in. So, guys, we started off already with a great response from the people. We got people that know us already. They know who we are. People that are telling people the word of mouth is getting out quick. They coming early this morning already. So we just know we in for a busy day today. We got some fresh briskets going on the grill. They going down. Hey, let's put about, uh, yeah, let's put about, go get, uh, take out, uh, Let's see, let's see, let's see. Little slabs of ribs. Let's cook about, um... Yeah, shut it down, though. Now, this is JR. JR is Pat's brother. He's the good brother. He's a good guy. Maybe about seven or eight slabs of ribs. Take them out of that. Take a box. Get out. The food at the Ohio State Fair is just off the chain. Man, look at all them sausages and peppers. My goodness. You know what, do you know what Canada's motto is? Do you know what Canada's, do you know what Canada like more than anything else, what their number one dish is in Canada? What? French fries and brown gravy. It is? That's their number one dish in Canada. French fries and brown gravy. There's something wrong with them people. <laughs> <laughs> you know, the only thing that Canada got that they beat in America with is their health plan. Yeah, their, their health, health care plan good. is phenomenal. Health America, good. you should take some hints. Yep. How you guys doing today? Rocky Mountain, North Carolina, but I live in Villa Rica, Georgia. All right. Where are you ladies for from? Show. Huh? For show. Yeah, we doing. Yes, we are actually doing a show right now. You guys are on Dre's Place Barbecue as the rotisserie turns. So welcome. As <laughs> the rotisserie turns. How you ladies awesome. doing? Wonderful. And where are you ladies from? Right here in Ohio. Right here yeah. in Columbus, Ohio. Yeah. What's your name? My name's Kay. Kay and yours. Rachel. Miss Rachel. That, that's Miss Marcia. Hey, Miss Marcia. I'm Dre. Hi, Dre. Welcome. Nice to meet you. Cool. Well, how did you ladies hear about us? So you just happened oh, to stop by. The nose. Oh, the nose. The oh, the that's good. See. Oh, that's great. That's great. We came right here. We love that. That means we doing what we supposed to do. That's right. That's right. We are the people's choice. <laughs> you are the people's choice. We are the people's choice. Yes, ma'am. We are the people's choice. That's 
awesome. That's right. And we've um, been going around the country and having a great time while we make people happy, such as yourself. Great. Right. So what can we get you ladies to eat? We're going to get a chop sandwich. What do you think? Yeah. North Carolina barbecue with coleslaw on it. Put coleslaw on one of them. Coleslaw on one. Okay. I got that. I can make that happen. We can definitely make that happen. Name of mash. So what are you getting? A chop sandwich. Name of mash, real oh. quick. How do you feel about LeBron James coming home? Oh, welcome home, big boy. Welcome home. <laughs> uh oh. Do you got home here? No, go back to Miami. Big boy, where you belong. No, that's right. Hey, he's setting up the winning championship. If they get love, they probably go win it. Oh yeah, oh yeah. I'm hoping. I'm hoping every day. This new number ought to be zero. <laughs> It's the Haters Club. No. Oh, we'll bring it back. We gotta have at least somebody to win. <laughs> oh, oh, no. They're Browns fans. Oh. 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 I love the Browns. Johnny used to lose it. Johnny football is our answer. Oh, yeah. How do you feel about Van Zell? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. He's Cleveland's got it going on right now, don't they? What a place to be. <laughs> Just get time to get serious about those briskets. Jerry Trace Place Barbecue. Pat just want to come here anyway. She knows she had to come in here. Okay, Rob, what you got? You she want to see what we're doing. All right, at the Ohio State Fair, we are running two crews. And right now, you've got Dre's place, Andre Bully's crew. And tonight, we'll have Pat Bully's crew. So we'll have to see who is more efficient and does better with their crew. Now, folks, this one huge, massive piece of meat goes on one sandwich. How in the world can anyone eat that much meat on one sandwich? We will be asking a girl in a few minutes exactly how. Hey, could I ask you right quick what you're thinking looking at that huge, big, fantastic plate you just got right now? It looks good. I'm about to go eat it. Does it look like you could actually eat it or is it too big? I can eat it. <laughs> it's big enough. Well, good luck, man. Big bubbles, no troubles. Big bubbles, no troubles. Let's put some of this olive oil on that brisket. Rub that in. On both sides, if you flip them up. That oil we heat up, it actually helps cook the brisket. Yes, sir. It actually helps cook the brisket. Gets it very hot. We'll rub it in. Right. Yes, ma'am. I think I need to start Mac for them. Yeah, we can start pay. Mac for us too, because we're going to need that. Okay. We'll start boiling the pot. Yes, all right, let me put the kosher on there. Watch it, man. It's going to go all over the wall. You gonna start doing a good job, then you just come on, put it on. <laughs> kosher salt on the brisket first. Get some flavors up in there. That kosher salt really does something to that meat. There's something about that kosher salt. We won't tell what other ingredient is going into that beef. We're gonna put some magic on there along with some black pepper. Folks, this part is sensor. <laughs> along with some black pepper. Cracked black pepper is in there. Our special black sauce pepper. ready. You got my keys already. No, I ain't got my keys, man. Oh, Daryl got the keys. Oh, yeah, lock the door back. Yeah, Daryl's stoked in there. Make sure you lock the door back. 
Thanks for calling Dre's concession. I don't know about Dre, see, that poor girl's trying to order some pork chop pork with a macaroni and cheese, and Dre took a call and handed the keys. I don't know what he was doing. He's got a ton cooked in here, ready to go. I tell you, it was real good. It was real good. Oh, good. How you doing today? Welcome to Dre. <laughs> oh, brisket is phenomenal, man. You ain't have my it brisket. turns out to be a pretty good day, but Dre's having spent a lot of time drumming up business. Any two sides? Yes, sir. I got collard greens, baked beans, fried okra, sweet potato french fries, and I think she was next, so you can get any too. Do you have regular I do. Uh, anywhere from uh, 10 to 15. Five dollars. You look like you like good vegetables. We got some collard greens over here too now. How y'all doing, young people? We got some of that homemade macaroni and cheese, ladies, when y'all get hungry. That's the grease on top. That's from the olive oil. Just making it cook like that. Just turn out nice and golden brown. Cook it slow and low. Cook it nice, slow and low. You ain't never gonna be able to get them all on if you put it like that. Great. Yo. Real. Be a real. Be a real. Huh? Oh, ribs, chicken, baked beans, collard greens, macaroni, cheese. You really? You really? I got a really on it. Fried okra, sweet potato, French fries. The question is not how good the barbecue looks, because the barbecue looks good. The question is, is does he have enough for Pat's crew when Pat comes in? And somehow between now and the time Pat comes in. They're gonna sell all that barbecue. Open them up, tighten them up a little bit, just so we can get them all on the grill. See, in these, you just wanna cook them slow and low. You just keep stacking them right there. And we'll stack them all up high, and if we need ribs, we can start pulling the ribs, and we'll pull them from the bottom to the top. How many you got left? All right, you're gonna put two more on right now. We can get two more on right now. Might get three more on right now. Oh, well, we're gonna make this grill look pretty in a minute. How you doing, ma'am? What can we get? Now, let's look at all fine and good. The question is, is how much have you got? Using the light of truth, justice, honesty, integrity and the American way US Barbecue Association is ready to bring a true championship circuit to the barbecue cooks of the United States Barbecue Association is everywhere. Dre's team seems to be doing good, but we'll find out the truth in a minute when Pat comes in. How you doing today? All right, then. Glad you're doing good. Ten dollars, sir. Just ten, man. Stop by, try some homemade macaroni and cheese, collard greens, baked beans, fried okra. fair is getting packed out. Let's check out some ice cream and see how they do it in the ice cream truck. From the time this young man grabs that cone in his left hand and he dips it and hands it out the window will be less than 43 seconds. Now that's pretty fast time to make $5. That's a 
butterscotch, isn't it? It's a butterscotch. <laughs> Barbecue? What? She said, Welcome back. I like that. What's your name? Keela. Hey, Keela. Welcome to Dre's Place as the Retention Returns. You're going to be live on my TV show. I got oh, some more new friends right. over there, too. Welcome to Dre's Place as the Retention Returns. Y'all make sure y'all pull us up. Yeah, it's be one of the hottest new reality shows on TV Friday. soon. She Had to came come back, back. For another one. I love you for that, man. Thank you. That's impressive when you got people to come back. That means, again, America, Dre's Place Barbecue must be doing something right. Because otherwise, they wouldn't come back and see us. He going to think he's doing something right. Because Dre, Dre's wife, Pat, fixing to show up with her crew. Here we go. I need one more turkey leg. Onion ring. What's that on second you? onion ring, what's up with it? What's with it? Huh? The second onion ring, what's with it? It's a side order onion ring. Onion ring, thank you. For her, she gotta get it, cause he came back. He's an airborne man. Onion ring, baked beans. Okay. Oh, uh, quarter leg. Thank you, darling. There's your eight. I got your onion rings, your baked beans, and your quarter chicken. <laughs> Thank you. Right. Uh-oh. Introducing Big Mike. That's Big Mike in the middle toward the back back there. Got the Harley Davidson shirt on. Oh, no. There he is. Big Mike. Here we go. What's the name? Came over here with some spray from the people today. I got some. Back there, the hematite. Hey, Darrell, I'm going with my wife. She don't even know. Hey. What's to help you paint your blood? She doesn't know that they've been over there. Well, you must have been playing the lottery or something. Hey man, anybody ever told you you look like Michael Jordan? You look like Michael, man. Well, how you doing? Welcome to Dre's Place Barbecue. God is good. Say hello to my camera. Say hi to my camera. There she go right there. Make sure you get her on the camera, Daryl. Get her on my camera. You're the best. you at the best right now. You don't know it, though. You'll know after you eat this barbecue, you'll be back. That man right there moves, acts, and looks exactly. We like Michael Jordan. Too. He's got to be related to him. Hey, I got to show you what this girl had made for me and my friend. Quarter chicken with your two sides. Hey, Miss Pat. Hi, camera world. What's up there? We uh, miss you today. We miss you today. I didn't miss this. Huh? I didn't miss this. Trey. But check Yo, this out. 16. 18, 16 oh. pants. Oh, you keep losing 16 more, more weight. Pounds. Yes, yeah. I'm gonna be all the way down. 18 to 16. Okay. I'm gonna be down to a 12 in about three more months. Hey, Ooh. what you gonna need on there? Dang, fat. Baby, hey, uh, these I got today. 16. I've been having to wait. Oh, no. Big Mike in the house. You don't have to worry. He'll be in the camera about it. And I'm still waiting on place to get out the windows. And one by the door makes nine. Hey, and one by the door makes nine. <laughs> And I'm the number one productive individual here. Oh, my oh, oh. It's a dream. It's only his imagination, America. <laughs> Ladies, thanks for coming to the trains. We're getting ready for you right now. Yours is going to be 15. They give our crew, they give our crew with nothing every day. Hey, okay. <laughs> hey, you're right, you're right. It's a dream. You better go get some ice cream. Ginger <laughs> <laughs> did. See, we shooting the real. Wait a minute. What's he? He ain't really look. He ain't really look. What's going on? Look, he doesn't ever really look. Yes, sir. <laughs> uh, hey, you know, right here. I need two chop pork sandwiches. He didn't look. Okay. Well, I knew I had a whole case. All right. Out of 20? Put him right across that run right there. Trey sold yeah. everything he cooked. He didn't cook nothing for second right shift. He's fixing to get ugly. Yeah. 
What's up, Matthew? Ah, you go ahead. You you got your hands full. Well, the first thing Pat Screw's gonna do David. is load the grill down to heavy. Doing out here on the grill, buddy. Gotta wait for that. They need to cook now. Watch this grill get loaded down now. Remember that little bit he had on there earlier in the show? He's gonna get maxed out now. Pat in the house. The second shift's team seemed more than frustrated, not having the food they need to carry on for the rest of the evening already on the grill. Dre seems to be avoiding the issue. And the greens don't come out no can either. All right? We're going to make you happy, happy. Let me one time, man. You have a good time. Let me fly one time. Have a good time at the fair. Can the ribs go in there and you guys? All right, now. Well, man, you're in there. Thank you. Huh? Hey, y'all got my hot dogs on? I don't know. 
You know America, we love Pepsi. This is a Pepsi fair. Mountain Dew. Pepsi is this fair. The number one drink in the North is Pepsi Cola. The number one drink for Dre's Place Barbecue is Pepsi Cola. I love Pepsi. Well, Pat and crew have come in, and they're going to have to catch up again. But you know, with Pat at the helm, that's not going to be any problem. Well, this has been day one at the Ohio State Fair. Stay tuned for a whole lot more coming. This is only day one. the light of truth, justice, honesty, integrity, and the American way, U.S. Barbecue Association is ready to bring a true championship circuit to the barbecue cooks of the United States. Barbecue Association is everywhere.